Okay, we start with some breaking news. Kelly Clarkson is pregnant again. She announced it late last night in the middle of her concert in Los Angeles, getting emotional while performing. Yep, and Clarkson revealed that the news, the news to her fans that this will be her second child mm. for both her and her husband, Brandon Blackstock. So congratulations to them. Yeah, switch, switching gears now to Shannon Daugherty. She has revealed that she has breast cancer. Yeah. She says that uh, she could have caught it sooner if it weren't for a mistake that she's now suing over. Doherty rose to fame in the hit show from the 90s, Beverly Hills 90210, playing Brenda Walsh. She also starred in the show Charmed. According to legal documents obtained by TMZ, Doherty is suing a former business manager for failing to pay her insurance premiums, which led to a lapse in her health care coverage. Mm. Doherty claims that her breast cancer is more advanced now than it would have been had she been able to get a checkup or cancer screening. Well, those checkups are just so important to schedule and make sure you take care of that. Well, turning now to a co-star of Doherty's from the 90210 years, Brian Austin Green. Bag. He's perhaps known better these days as Mr. Megan Fox. But according to you, Us Weekly, not anymore. Magazine reports they've mm. separated. Fox and Green, they've been together for 11 years, and five of those, they were married. They have two young children. They met when Fox was 18. They were engaged once before, then splitting up. But Green reproposed, and they were finally married. I hate Hollywood breakup stories, especially when they're good looking people. Well, see, when they're good looking people, though, neither of them are going to have much trouble. So you think you're, right you're not crying there. over this one? I am absolutely <laughs> ever going to cry over that. I mean, it's sad that it's a family that's now broken up. Yes. Obviously, exactly. you know, they're people. But again, because they're so pretty, <laughs> you know, and they think they're on the market. They're good. Exactly, exactly. Not lost on a lot of people, for sure. All right, next, a famous house from a frightening movie is now for sale. The home of Buffalo Bill from the Silence of the Labs movie is on the market. It was the setting for some really scary scenes involving one of the film's two psychopaths and, of course, Jodie Foster's character. I don't know why you'd want it. It kind of freaks me out a little bit. Mm -hmm. But this western Pennsylvania Victorian is listed for $300,000. You'll get three bedrooms, one full bath, and a pool house made from a caboose. But what? A lifetime of nightmares, too. Uh, you know, I did not think of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wonder if that's on the marketing brochure. It's all in there. <laughs> but what it doesn't have is the infamous basement where Bill tortured his victims. Mm, those scenes were filmed on a separate set. The owners said that they were eating dinner one night when a producer knocked on their door, and the rest is history. The film went on to be the best picture at the Oscars that year. And finally, it's one of the big films of the summer, straight out of Compton, winning big at the box office last week, and the movie inspiring another legendary group. That's right, the Muppets. This mashup includes a video from the 1979's Muppet movie, featuring Fozzie Bear, Kermit, and others, and audio of NWA's Express Yourself. It's crazy to see people be what society wants.